how to avoid getting hooked by evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also the desirable for the joining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. The man said, the woman you put the, here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. The woman said, the uh, serpent deceived me and I ate. With painful labor, you will give birth to children through f uh, painful toil. By the sweet of your uh, bra, you will eat your food. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Father, give me insight to see through the lies of sin. Spare me from the shame, blame, and consequence of the sin that so easily entangles me. Amen. How to spot a lie? What shall we conclude then? Do we have any advantage? Not at all, for we have already made the change that Jews and Gentiles alike are all under the power of sin, as it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. Jesus, Lord Jesus, by the power of your spirit and the truth of your word, enable me to identify the lies of the evil one that I have accepted as if they are coming from me. I do not want to be a slave to this power of sin. Free me to follow you through grace and truth. Amen. Now, to continually nourish your mind, we demolish our arguments and every uh, pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every uh, thought to make it obedient to Christ. Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. You know all things and your word is the test of all things. Search this uh, thought I am bringing to you and lead me in your eternal way. I trust in your presence within me and your word to live out the truth today. Amen. How to identify fact from fiction? Holy Spirit, show me today where my strength or weak, uh, weakness have uh, made my vulnerable of a lie. Give me a lifelong hunger for your word that you might imp implant in, uh, its truth in my mind. Then grant me the willingness to obey it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is your place of refuge. You will find rest in me. I am uh, your place of re uh, refuge. Hebrew 4 1 reads, Therefore, since the promise of it, uh, entering his rest still stands, let us be careful that none of you be found to have fallen short of it. Making sure you are ready for what's the, uh, to come. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Jesus, open the implications of your word to me now. 
tell me the truth in the days ahead I want to uh, ponder the uh, meaning of uh, your return and uh, prepare accordingly counsel uh, me by your spirit so I might live uh, each remaining uh, day with wisdom and purpose Amen Living today in light of tomorrow no one knows about that day uh, or hour no not even the angels in heaven nor the son but only the father as it was in the days of Noah so it will be at the coming of the son of man for in the days before the flood people were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away that is how it will be at uh, the coming of the son of uh, man Lord Jesus calm my mind stir up your spirit inside of mine and let me truly ponder the implication of your second coming check my priorities Lord expose what I am living for today shift my trust to you and empower me to live by your spirit today Amen Hallelujah Amen